Yes, boys, it is Christmas. Look how many boxes. <laughs> These are all mods. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm actually gonna go down to CHP and the tow yard because uh, my M3 got impounded and uh, I might be able to get it back. So yeah, you guys heard it. Uh, my M3, the guy that purchased it from me never registered under his name and it got impounded. And now the, the impound place or the tow place won't contact him because he never registered. It's under my name. So the only person that can pick it up is me. And if I don't pick it up within the 30 days, it goes to the auction. So um, I'm gonna see if I can pick it up and keep it for myself and get a duplicate title. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna go talk to CHP to make sure legally can I do that because I want to have any problems I'm gonna go down there and be like uh, the guy never registered it. I got the thing I don't want to have any problems So either I'll pay to get it out But will it be mine or how does that work? Like I just want to know because I don't want to go pay for something like go pay to get it out of the impound line When I already submitted the papers that I've released the car off my name, but technically I'm the only person that can pick it up It's kind of complicated. But anyways, we're gonna go down. Yeah, I'm here with Johnny too. Yeah, uh, guys. it's a little complicated But we're gonna go check it out pouring so we're gonna have to take a little uh, run journey right now. Oh, you ready to run? <laughs> Oh, buddy, my sunroof's open. Oh, no. We <laughs> made it. So, guys, my sunroof has been open all night, but nothing's wet. There's like this little flap right here that actually prevents the water from getting in. That's what's super cool. I did not know that. Yeah, so that's dope. All right, guys, we are arriving here at Chipotle. What Chipotle is, is my. <laughs> the things we do for Chipotle. Um, corn? Yeah. Uh, just cheese. Damn, look how good this thing looks. So guys, we're heading out. We're gonna head to the CHP. We're gonna either get arrested or we're gonna pick up a car or we're gonna pay our fees. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so we're here at CHP. It's right over there. Just gotta cross the street and then we are there. I'll show you guys where all the cops are at. Here is the police station. Now, I don't want to bring a camera in the police station. So, uh, I'll catch you guys when I get out. I'll let you guys know what happened. There's three scenarios. They're gonna make me pay it. They're gonna say you have to go there, you have to pay it, and that's what it is. They're gonna say go down to the DMV um, and get it re-registered. Re or they say um, it is what it is. Just leave it. There's nothing you can do about it. Find out. I'll let you guys know in a few minutes here. A few seconds for y'all. So. <laughs> What's up guys? So we just got back. Uh, I got the phone number to the DMV in SAC So basically I have to go ahead and give him a call and uh, basically the guy I sold it to sold it to another person and that person uh, The car got towed by CHP. What's your PD? Uh, Sacramento Police Department. Yeah, so for what reason I have no idea uh, But the only thing is it's saying that the car hasn't been smogged and that's pop this thing Like that's the only reason it you know comes back to me but there's two other owners in front of me. So I'm the least liable to pay for this. But she said, just to be safe, go ahead and call the DMV and verify. So I'm going to give him a call, get this thing situated. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting the car. <laughs> Which there was a very slim chance. There was a slim chance. But uh, at least I hopefully don't have to pay for any of this because I don't want to deal with this. All right, guys. So I just went ahead, uh, left my callback number. They're going to give us a call. That's just crazy how like the M3 was sold to someone and then it was like neglected and sold again really quickly. And then it got towed. It's like, damn. Like people really don't care. They don't. Suck. It's a nice, expensive car. How do people just mistreat it like that? Anywho. So yeah, guys, this is what I got in the mail. This is for the M3, the blue one that we sold a long time ago, the E92 M3. This is about like two months ago I sold it. And uh, you guys can see that each day it's going to be there. It's $60 and it already has a towing fee of 200 So it's probably already like... A lot. Bro, it's probably, probably like, like 600 five, 600 That's crazy. So yeah, it's just stacking up in fees. That really sucks. I mean, if they don't ever pick it up, my car's going right back into their auction. So maybe even one of you guys can pick it up. It is what it is. Obviously, if I can find it, I'll probably try bidding on it. Um, I'll that'd try to... Crazy. That'd be crazy, yeah. If I can find the car, I'm going to try to win it back. Because honestly, I missed the car, uh, but the, the price I got offered for it was too good to deny. But obviously, if I can win it back from the auction, I will. It would be a great yeah. redemption story. Right I'll keep you guys posted on that 100%. Right now, we're actually going to head down to the DMV and register the new M3 for you guys, the one we're currently giving away. We're here at Jonathan's favorite place. <laughs> this was not today's plan. By no, the way. it isn't, but I plan on getting my M3 back. But you know, shit happens in life. I guess I'll just register the M3 I'm going to be giving to you guys. Damn, that tuck though. So we're just chilling like villains at this point. He's not having it. Anywho, 
Uh, <laughs> we're about 30 seats away, so we'll let you guys know when we're out of here. So we just got out of the DMV, registration, everything's been paid for, so we are good to go. So basically at this point, uh, the car is officially ours. We can go ahead, modify it, do a bunch of cool stuff to it, make it look as pristine as possible, and then give it away to one of you guys. If you guys are excited for that, make sure you smash the like button. Without further ado, let's go home, and uh, we'll see what we're gonna do next. I forgot, what, what is a vlog without actually getting some gas? So let's go ahead and fill up the car. It's completely out of fuel. I bet you it's gonna be about $45. Well, if you guys round it, it's 46, but I said 45 and it says 45, so we'll go with that. We are officially back home. I got a whole bunch of boxes for all my cars. I'm going to show you guys all those boxes. I figured I should at least show you guys the mods and everything because in the next couple days, we're actually going to be working on the E36 M3, but I do have a whole bunch of mods coming in and has came in for the 435. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys those mods, hype you guys up, but at the same time, we're going to be starting to work on the E36 M3 because I want to make that thing perfect for you guys. The main focus in the next couple weeks is to make sure that car is perfect. It's already smogged. It's ready for a new owner. It's already registered under my name, so that means it is ready to be fully modified for one of you guys. I'm super hyped. So show you guys all the mods that already came. I'm pretty hyped for this. Wait, hold up. Did you know you were here? <laughs> for real? Yeah, that's you. Damn, bro. I appreciate you. Did you see yourself on Nick's video? Yeah. It was so funny. He even put up your picture again while you were talking. I'm gonna talk to you with your reaction. No way. <laughs> so you're like you're like famous now. <laughs> People are talking about Sierra all the time. If you guys like it, if you guys like him, you know what everything. Let me know. He's gonna be in the videos more often. He's pretty chill, right? Wednesday picking up 335i. Hey. Inshallah, yeah, he's, he might be picking up a BMW, so that's gonna be pretty sick. It's a 335 is his first BMW. That's that's pretty sick. Anyway, shout out to Sear, my guy. Um, we got a whole bunch of mods. We're gonna show you guys what's inside of all these boxes, and then after that, we're gonna get all these boxes out of here. And then after that, my boy Sierra over here is gonna teach me how to become a professional editor. I don't know about professional. But... <laughs> Let me throw a few pictures. Like if you guys actually look at the pictures he's edited for me, it's kind of insane. And uh, the only reason I'm saying I'm gonna throw a few pictures because my boy Jonathan's editing my videos, and uh, he's helping me out with all this. <laughs> that, means, that means I gotta put him up there. Okay, I get it. Shout out to my boy Jonathan. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's just show you guys what we got over here. All right, Sierra, here you go, big boy. So uh, open. Up. Oh, actually, you choose a box. Choose a box. You, okay, that's great. He's throwing, his, he's throwing his life into these open boxes. Oh my lord. Put my back into this. <laughs> hey, what is this guy? We have this question. I think, oh. I, I think this. Oh! Oh! Keys! Oh. This is Keys! He's worse for it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> yeah, for your. What is this? Oh. You oh, got some the stickers intake. in here and you got some. <gasps> MS. Oh, this is from MST. Yeah, this is the intake from MST. And that's the shell for the heat shield. Okay. Dude, damn. Comes with all this? Okay, so it has the heat shield and the full intake. This is pretty sick. So we're gonna be installing this hopefully in the near future. So it's an intake for the 435. Anywho, I'm gonna slap all this stuff back in here. I need you to crack open another box real quick. No one likes a bunch of all these. Oh, I hate that shit. Hold on. Oh, damn. <laughs> what is uh, that? Okay, what is this guy? Boost pipe? Is this the boost pipe? Yes, uh, intake pipe system. Oh, this is the inlet. This is, this is the bottom end. So uh, we have the inlet. From F, from, this is from FTP. So this is the inlet from FTP. And then we also have the intake from uh, MST. So that's pretty sick. We have all these mods and stuff. So that's all going on. The 435, like I told y'all, we're gonna be trying to push a lot of power on this thing. Uh, the tune is from boot mode as well. We already got the tune. So it's gonna go pretty crazy. That, you guys can already tell, is the wheel. Ooh, another wheel. We gotta get another wheel because we bet that on our trip to LA. You know, things happen in my It's already here, dude. Oh, Ooh. Mm. Okay, that's there good. we go. Okay, this is the front. I think this is the front. No, this is definitely the front. This is, this is pretty small. Right. So we got the front wheel. Let's go ahead and recover. So we're gonna take this with us probably tomorrow. I'm gonna go get this top, the new wheel mounted. Uh, yeah, ever since the little accident, basically, the car is vibrating heavily. So it sucks I got a bent rim so quickly. But anyways, it is what it is. That pothole was hard. That right? was, that was a really that, hard yeah. pothole. Like, if anything, I'm actually shocked it didn't pop the tire. We were still able to go through our trip. The wheel uh, held air and everything. Now I get the difference between a, a rim that cracks and a rim that bends. So a rim that bends, it at least holds air. You can still drive. If it cracks, you lose your air. So you're basically stuck on the side of the road. Ugh, this is good. This is very nice. I'm going to go ahead. That's Huge. This is massive. So I picked up an M Sport steering wheel for a giveaway. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and restore this bad boy, rewrap the trim. This is a full M Sport steering wheel. I'm gonna be basically trying to restore this and then giving it away to one of you guys. This giveaway is happening as well. Uh, yeah, this is the big puppy right here. Ooh, what is this? Okay, what oh. is this? Obviously, it looks like a part of the exterior. Of the <gasps> it's a diffuser. Car. Is the carbon good? Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber diffuser. Check that Shoo. out. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
Ooh, that's much better. Carbon fiber diffuser. Ooh, These actually yeah. have the bed pieces. So actually, the bed pieces, they actually came with the, the other diffuser that I got from Keys. But unfortunately, um, I, I didn't put them on, so it's whatever. So we got the new uh, carbon fiber one. I'm going to I'm going to just rewrap this. I don't want to damage it. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and install this hopefully in the near future as well. So I got Sierra in my room right now. Uh, he's downloading me a very legal version of Lightroom. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what's going on. No shady shit going on whatsoever. Anywho, while I'm doing that, Jonathan and Sierra's also been teaching me how to use my camera, how to take proper pictures. So uh, by the end of this video, I should actually learn. Dude, let's do a photo battle. Yeah, I think we should do that. I think that'd be sick. Anywho, we got four guys in the room, so the room's kind of messy. We got shit everywhere from all of our backpacks and stuff. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, we're actually gonna all take our own photos of the car. And I'm gonna have like our names on the bottom and who took the picture, who edited the photo and all that stuff in our own different cameras. I'll have like the specs and everything in the bottom of the screen. So we're just gonna cut right down to our edited photos. And let me know if you guys see any improvements in my photos. All right guys, so we're heading out right now. The whole crew, all of our cameras. Let's go ahead and see what we can shoot. You know what I'm saying? Should be sick, should be sick. I saw one comment, someone said, well, see why you always look blasted? Bro, everyone tells me that. I'm not. I'm high off life, I <laughs> He's enjoying life to the fullest. That's all that matters, right? All right, guys, we're all just chilling. The odds over there. Jonathan's over here. Sears right there. We found a little sick spot to take some photos at. Obviously, just some grass, some dirt, some trees. But uh, hopefully, you guys can see some pretty sick shots. But, you know, we'll see what we can do with these cameras. I'm not even holding it the right way, but yeah. All right, guys, so we just took our shots. I'm going to throw them up all over the place. Damn. Peak, huh? That was a pretty sneak peek. That looks that looks saucy. So anyways, we're gonna throw up a few pictures right now. Let us know uh, what, what you guys think is best. Camera, camera lens, and who took it. And let us know what you guys think. So let me know what you guys liked, which photos through in which camera and who, what you know which person. Let us know down below. But anywho, uh, next this, next video is gonna be insane, guys. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of mods either to the E36 or to the 435. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Cop a decal down below. Without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay humble. All right, stay humble. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the search with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.